Hey guys, so this first step, I am at the Heart of Darkness. If you look behind me, this is the bridge leading over to this area. So straight ahead of me is a conspicuous note. I'm going to try using my glider, which I've just applied on my cloak, to glide to that spot. at the beginning. Okay, so next I'll have to head to Drekthal's hideout in Broken Shore. I'll see you there. So the second location is back on the Broken Shore. You can see right by this nameless mystic Illidari master. It's where you normally find Drekthal Sometimes you'll find him pottering around at this table, which makes clicking this ordinary pebble on the left-hand side really, really difficult. But thankfully, it took a while, but he's gone to sleep now. So off to the next clue. The next location is actually in Boralus, so I'm currently in Turgard Sound. This is where I am on the map. It's a location called Hook Point. And we're actually going to be going into this hidden little cave behind these nets. Here it is, Ordinary Pebble. Now we're going to head back to Hatal Dazar back in Zoldazar, so I'm just going to use my hearth, which takes me back to the Great Seal. See you soon. So the next pebble is actually located at Mount Magumba. I had just looted the treasure, which I'll link in one of the cards of the video, so you know where I am exactly, but I'll just show you on the map. So I'm currently actually in the non-instance version of Atal Dazar, which is the dungeon. But I'm going to see if there's a pretty easy way to access the next cave, which I think is around the back side of the dungeon. So let's see if we can get there. Here we go, Mount Magumba. So it's in the right direction anyway. So this is where I am on the map, in the mountains.
This next spot is a location I actually found on the beta. I was hoping it was a spot for one of the last treasures I was looking for. This is where I am on the map. So it's very close to Arom's stand for Alliance. For Horde we'll have to be, do a little bit of hoofing since it's not that close to any of our flight paths. But if you look below there's actually a cave. So I'm going to jump down and just make my way inside There we go, it's left eye socket. Alright, next up it will be back to Voldoon. Okay, so I've just arrived at Tortaka Refuge in Voldoon. What I'm going to do next is climb up these rocks. and then head towards this lone tree He looks ominous so thankfully you don't have to engage the clackerback or it's not hidden in the back of the cave. It's right here by this smaller rock on the left. Okay, next up is back to Stormsong Valley. So the next pebble is actually located in the same location as the weathered treasure chest. So you know, two birds with one stone and all that. I'm going to have to clear a couple mobs. Now the actual gem itself should be located in a wheelbarrow. Here we go, back of the cave. Ordinary pebble. So next it's back to Nazmir in the South Seas. This is definitely one of the more annoying ones because you're in fatigued waters and you're diving for a fish. Diving for a fish. Diving for a sunken ship. This is where I am on the map. Definitely one of the more annoying ones to get but the item itself should be right on the back of the boat Oh my gosh, I got it. I couldn't figure out which pebble it was, but you'll see like a smiley face directly under the skull and it was the second one from the left. Okay, currently standing in the hedge mage in Proudmoor Keep. Oh, 
here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you can see the pebble right here. But it looks like I'm going to die again, so not sure if this will work, but Scurvy dog. Oh my god. I got it. Yes. So this next one actually involves probably a little bit of fighting. That's where I am on the map, at the top on this little island overlooking this lighthouse. So the path should be up here. Okay, so this next one is in Tiragard Sound as well. Just in the mountains there's a hidden cave. However, I think this one is actually at the back and there are a lot of stealthy mobs in here. So I'm going to see if this works. Oh, oh my gosh. <coughs> So this next one is actually behind a waterfall. That's where I am on the map where it says Trade Winds Market.
Oh my gosh, you have to tilt this one a lot. There it is. Two more steps! This is taking forever. So I'm going to teleport to the graveyard because I'm stuck in this little hole now. And I don't want to hearth back because my hearth will be our horde embassy on the other continent. Okay, this next pebble is actually just off Boralus. When I go to the larger map, you can see I'm just there at the B. So I'm going to change into a fish, swim down. And there's a hidden cave just here in this algae. And then the last pebble should be here under, there it is, ordinary pebble. And now off to the very last step which is to hit fatigued waters again into another underground cave and we should be done. We'll be able to go and battle little Baal for ourselves. By the way, how adorable are these little surf darters? Level 7, level 6. So the last part is, that's where I am on the map, just off the coast of Voldoon. I'm about to hit Fatigued Waters and run to the spot where my fatigue bar should reset. So the last part actually involves an underwater cave. And so now I'm trying to get to 5510.
Okay, so I've taken the liberty of learning my little fishy again, or using my little fish ability, which allows me to breathe underwater. This is where I am on the map. And it's just around the underwater cave. It will be just below me. keep swimming down until you see the opening it's fairly small there you go and then the stone or the pebble should be right here this tiny one right there Something is carved into the stone. Heckler of the murkiest thugs, sheath your bat and remove the keg cork. What? Okay. Excellent! Well, that means I should be done, and I shall. I'm just gonna check out what's in this cave. Anything. Tears are hit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know what this means. This means I can now go back to Draenor and battle my little Baal pet. So I'll see you then. So to find Baal, you'll have to head back to... Frostfire Ridge, up here in Colossal's Fall. And I'm not sure what his health was before, but apparently he's a pretty powerful pet. And in order to make him weaker or easier to battle, you can summon Una and she will weaken him. So, let's see. Shadow Flame, Curse of Doom, Nethergate. Shouldn't be too bad. I just threw these three pets together. Well, that was a lot more effort than I thought it would be. I have to say, I didn't really enjoy this one as much as I have other quest chains, but let me know if you enjoyed it and uh, what your favourite part was or what your least favourite part was. I think my least favourite was probably the fatigued areas. Okay, well thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.